How to install a custom kernel on the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a custom kernel on your POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. For full disclosure, I do have the POCO F3, but the process will work even if you have the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 because they are the same devices sold under different names in different regions. And right now I am running a custom ROM on my device, but the process will stay the same even if you are on stock me ui as well as long as the custom kernel you're trying to flash supports me ui now as you can see right now i do have the evolution x rom which is running quantic kernel now what are the prerequisites for this video well you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you also need to have a custom recovery installed we are going to use twrp by washist in this video how do you unlock the bootloader how do you install a custom recovery on your Mi 11X, POCO F3, Redmi K40? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next up, you of course need the custom kernel which you want to install on your device. And again, all the resources are linked in the description of the video. So you can find custom kernels for the POCO F3 or the Mi 11X either on XTA developers or on various telegram groups and channels we are going to install the optimus drunk kernel in this video so again the kernel is inside my internal storage and the next thing we need to do is we need to turn off our device and once the device is turned off press and hold power and volume up together and once you see the POCO logo or once you feel the vibration feel free to let go of the power button so i felt the vibration let go of the power button volume up was still pressed and we have now successfully booted into our custom recovery which is team win first of all I'm going to wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik slash art cache and then swipe to wipe once this is done tap on the home button next thing we need to do is take a backup of our existing kernel in case we run into any issues so go into backup and here and make sure that boot and dtbo boot and dtbo these two partitions are selected and then swipe to backup important thing to note over here is that note down the folder where the backup is taken it will be date followed by a time and then your build number then tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have your custom kernel zip file in case you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder if you transfer it manually you would know the folder so in my case it is inside the download folder select the file then make sure that inject twrp after install is checked because if this is not checked then your recovery might be replaced and once you have verified that swipe to confirm flash now once the process has finished successfully we need to make sure there were no errors so here it is we are flashing the kernel which is optimus drunk and done there were no errors now you have the unpacking and repacking process wherein it is ensuring that twrp is not replaced and the part in red can be ignored it looks like some warning message so image flash completed image flash completed that's it go ahead and say reboot and select system and there it is we have successfully booted back into our rom so we can now go back into settings about phone go into android version and here it is you can see that the kernel has now changed to optimus drunk kernel which is the one which we had installed now what if you want to go back to your stock kernel or if you are in a boot loop then again boot back into twrp recovery so turn off your device and then press and hold power and volume up together once you feel the vibration let go of the power button similarly if you are in a boot loop even then while you are in the boot loop press and hold power and volume up together once you feel the vibration let go of the power button press and hold the volume up still and then you should boot into your twrp recovery now we need to go back to our kernel which we had backed up so for starters going to wipe advanced wipe and same thing dalvik and cache 
select it and then swipe to wipe then tap on the home button go into restore and as you can see i do have two folders over here and the one which has the backup is the one which is the second one the one which is 1110 so select this and whatever partitions are backed up will automatically be populated and checked so we had backed up boot and dtbo they are automatically populated and checked all you need to do is swipe to restore and that's it once the restore process has finished successfully say reboot system and there it is we have booted back into evolution x rom and we can now go back into settings about phone android version here it is we are back on quantic kernel and this is the kernel which comes with this specific rom and there it is peeps that is how you install a custom kernel on the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and of course go back to your backed up or stock kernel in case you run into any issues and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.